Hello, and welcome to this webinar about your Simon Searchlight account. It is important that you know the various steps required to make sure you participate fully in the Simon Searchlight Research Registry. In the world of rare diseases, every single person counts, and we want to make sure that you are counted. Each step is important to the researchers who will use your data. In this webinar, we will go over your family dashboard, completing consent, adding other family members, completing surveys, and uploading a lab report. Some of these topics were covered in greater detail in our registration webinar. After creating your account, you will receive an email from Simon Searchlight asking you to verify your email address. If you cannot find the email or experience any issues verifying your email, reach out to us and we can help you. Here is the family dashboard after just creating an account. The family progress bar at the top shows you all the steps that you and your family need to complete to make your data available to researchers. This progress bar updates as you and your family complete the tasks assigned to your account. Below the family progress bar is the priority task section, which shows the next most important task that you should complete. Below the priority task section is the all task section. This section will show you all the tasks currently assigned to you and your family. This section updates as surveys are assigned to your account and as your family members are added. Next to the task list is the reward section, which shows the gift card amount that your family has earned by completing surveys on your Simon Searchlight account. This is the gift card amount that you have not yet redeemed. We created a short webinar that covers the gift card system in greater detail. You can find it on the Simon Searchlight YouTube or Facebook pages. Below the reward section is the family invite section. Here you will be able to add your children to your account and invite your child's other parent to participate. You are only able to add children under the age of 18 or a child over 18 for whom you have legal authority and up to two siblings who do not have the genetic condition. The priority task section shows that the next task is to complete consent. When creating a Simon Searchlight account, you will be asked to create an account, provide your information and complete consent for yourself. After completing your consent, you will be asked to add your child and provide their information. It is important that you follow that order. First, answer about yourself, then next add your children and their information. If you accidentally create an account for your child before yourself, the system will automatically block the account because minors are not allowed to make accounts for themselves. If this ever happens to you, please contact us. Once you add your child to your account and complete their consent, you will be assigned a task to upload their genetic lab report. This is the report that comes directly from the genetic testing laboratory. This report is usually a few pages and includes information about the specific testing that was ordered, the gene change that was found, and how the laboratory interprets that specific gene change. The report may be from laboratories like GeneDx, Invitae, Centigene, Amber Genetics, or Blueprint Genetics in the US, and there are many more internationally. Documents that we cannot use include summary packets provided by your child's health care providers or clinic notes from your child's medical health record. If you do not have access to your lab report, you can complete a release form and we will request the report on your behalf. If you have any further questions, please feel free to reach out to one of our genetic counselors at coordinator at simonsearchlight.org. You can see on the dashboard that the consent was completed, a child was added, their consent was completed, and a genetic lab report was uploaded. There are no active tasks assigned to the account. Once you upload your child's genetic lab report, our team will review it, and then you will receive an email letting you know if your family is eligible to participate in Simon Searchlight. If you are eligible, more surveys will appear on your dashboard. You will also receive an email letting you know when you have new tasks assigned to your account. Remember, none of your data can be released to researchers unless we have a lab report that confirms the genetic diagnosis. So this is a very important step to ensure that you are counted in the research. The next important task is to make an appointment for a phone call with a genetic counselor for the medical history phone interview to talk about you or your child's medical history. This task will display a calendar of available times. The medical history interview provides rich information for the research community as they continue to study these rare gene changes and is an important way to provide meaningful answers back to you and your community. Don't forget, after your lab report is reviewed and approved, you will have additional steps to complete beyond the medical history interview. 
You will also see other surveys appear on your dashboard that are appropriate for your family. These surveys contain other information that is important for researchers to know. Please complete these at a time that is convenient to you. The sooner that you add your information, the sooner we can make it available to the research community. Please feel free to give us a call or send us an email if you have any questions about Simon Searchlight or the registration process.